We're starting on lesson two, who are transportation engineers. In this lesson, we'll be going outside and you're going to get to act as transportation engineers. Who in this story was a transportation engineer? Um, Corral. I think it was Miss Takamaru. Miss Takamaru was the transportation engineer. What are some things that transportation engineers do? Anaya looks like she's found it on page 11 and 12. Anaya, you want to go ahead and read where you're at? Tell, so you're on page 11. She's at the bottom of page 11. So let's see if everybody can get there. The bottom of page 11. Go ahead, Anaya. Transportation engineers like Mrs. Takamaru have a different type of job. They use their knowledge of science and math and their creativity to move things or people from place to place safely and efficiently. Okay, you can stop there for a second. I hear you saying that the transportation engineers work with vehicles and transporting people and things, right? All right, so when we go outside, you're going to see that being a transportation engineer actually has a little bit more, to, um, there's a little bit more that they do than just working with vehicles okay this morning did anyone travel through an intersection okay well tell me about it sandro when i went when i um was on the bus the bus was in an intersection and the the cars went there was a red light where we were standing and then the other cars went there um there were Okay, so the bus was at a red light, and you saw other cars were going, though, in front of you, right? What would have happened if that red light hadn't been there, Sandro? The car would have crashed. They would have crashed. Okay. There's lots of signs telling us what to do, and somebody has to decide where to put those signs, uh, which signs to put where. All right, now let's take a look at this model intersection. Let's look at some of the um, points here. Now we have a dash, a line, we call this a dashed line because it's not a full line, it's got little spaces in between. What does that mean to you, Antonia? Um, Take a guess. To uh, stay on like one side. Okay, it tells you, so it divides into two lanes, right? Okay, so one thing it does is it divides the lanes. So we know there's a lane here and we know there's a lane here. Uh, what else? Matthew? Um, the dash the dash lines um, let you like pass um, through different lanes and the, the just um, just straight um, line doesn't let you pass through the other one because um, the other cars are coming the other side the other way. What Matthew's saying is this dashed line says that it's okay for this person who's up here to move into this lane. Okay, that dashed line says, it's okay, we're all going in the same direction. Look, of course, but if it's safe to pass, you can. Now, if you were here, you would be having a car going this way and a car going this way. Why do you think they have solid lines here? Telling you it's not okay to pass. It's not okay to go into the other lane, right? So you should not... So cars are not allowed to cross over solid lines. What else do we notice in our um, intersection? You want to show me? For this person, this person can go straight while this person can turn into here. Oh, okay. So what he's saying is, he's saying if you, if you are here in this lane, he's saying you could go straight or you could turn. What would happen if the person in this lane tried to turn here? There'd be an accident. Yeah, because this is a two lane going to how many lanes? One. One lane. That could happen. And so we would have to think about what we might have to put there to make sure that doesn't happen. All right, we're going to stop for today. But like I said, when we, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to go outside and you're going to be motorist. A motorist is somebody who drives a motor vehicle, okay? So we're going to have motorists and we're going to have transportation engineers observing our motorist. okay? 
So we're going to watch how the flow of traffic moves and we're going to have our transportation engineers help make our intersection safer. All right, so transportation engineers, Antonia, you're going to go to the main road looking at the right turn. This is the main road, okay? Um, let's see, I want one, two, standing here. You two are in this lane, okay? One, two, three, go over there, okay? All right, now, you know what you're observing, my transportation engineers. You'll see the arrows marked on the road showing you where you can go. Okay, we are now ready to collect data. Transportation engineers, are you ready? Go ahead and go. Free chicken at Boston Market. Free chicken at Boston Market. Okay, go back to your starting positions. Transportation engineers, help me out. Matthew, help me out. Where did you see an issue? Um, here I think there should be like traffic lights because um, when they're intersecting here, other cars are coming from that side and they wouldn't even stop. Okay. Do you all agree, other transportation engineers, do you agree that there was a lot of congestion and crashes here and maybe we need a light? Okay. All right, Deshaun. On the main road is great. They were having crashes because the side road, they, were in, um, they weren't waiting for them to go. Everybody was trying to go at the same time. How do you think we could solve that problem? You can put a stop sign. A stop sign, right? Okay. So I hear Deshaun saying he want tell show me where you want your stop sign. Okay. And Matthew, show me where you want your stop lights. Because we're about to do data trial two. And when I say switch, the, the light's going to switch, okay? Go. Switch. Okay, make note, make notes. Okay, time out. Okay. We are going to pick up this activity after lunch. So okay. I want to talk to you a minute about what we did when we were outside. I basically had this model drawn on the cement in chalk, and we had this model intersection, and we had, we had some of you were motorists, some of you were transportation engineers. Um, Deshaun, as a transportation engineer, what were you doing? We were looking, we were observing the, the motorists to see how we can make things more safe for them. To see how you could make things more safe, okay. Um, can you give me some examples of some of the things you did in order to make this intersection safer? Um, Deshaun, you want to tell us what you had suggested? Come on up. I suggested that we make a crosswalk. Okay, go ahead and draw it on there. Excellent, good. And you had even told us you were going to have crossing guards there also, right? Matthew, what was your suggestion? Go ahead and show us where you put traffic lights in. Okay, and where was the other one? Excellent. We, you got to see kind of a different side of what transportation engineers do. Let's look back at what you all had said transportation engineers do. The other day when I asked you what do transportation engineers do, you said, well, they design cars and planes, they improve cars and planes. Do you still think this is um, all of what transportation engineers do? No. Okay, Alex, do you want to add something to this chart to show us what else transportation engineers do? Um, they like work. They like work with things. I'm um, including like traffic. Okay, so traffic, and I hear streets. What else? Evan. So they transport it more safely. So they make transportation safer. 
All right, we're going to stop there because I have a lot of really fun activities. We'll come, we can always come back to this, but I have a lot of fun activities for us to do to further expand your knowledge about magnets. So after lesson one, the student's idea about transportation engineers was that they design uh, vehicles, but they hadn't really gotten to the idea yet that they might have do other things other than just design vehicles that transport people or and things. Um, so when we get to lesson two, we go to that model intersection and they get to be transportation engineers and observe the flow of traffic, uh, where should we place signs, where should we place stoplights. They get to see a much more in-depth view of what a transportation engineer actually does. And they understand, oh, it has to do with uh, how we arrange the roads, how we set our, our lights, where we put our stop signs, and I think they realize that it's, it's difficult. They have to really think about where, do, where am I going to put a crosswalk, how do I keep pedestrians safe? And they understand really through lesson two that transportation engineers are trying to make transportation more safe and more efficient.